Jenks. Tell me what you know first, but this time I've got something to tell you. Really? Well, what I found out is that Simon was asked by Ryan to test Kate to see if she was good enough to become prime candidate. Prime what? Prime candidate. It's the best of the bunch. The best Atlas student. The prime candidate gets an instant job on a fantastic salary as soon as they leave the course. And how do they work out who's the best of the bunch? That's what I'm trying to work out. Well, that's very interesting. I'll tell you what I know, shall I? That name they used to trade under Third Eye. Turns out they were investigated three years ago over an allegation of physical abuse. Torture, Jenks. Witness had puncture marks through both their hands. And Atlas weren't charged? There was nothing to charge them with. The witness inflicted the wounds herself. Witness said it was something called threshold testing, whatever that means. Go figure, as they say in America. Can I ask the Rands about this? Well, there's no point. They won't tell you anything, and it'll just put them on the defensive. Just keep chipping away at them. Try and find out what this testing involves. That's the best thing. Get something on them, and you'll be in a better position. Right. Thank you, Chief. Early there, Jenks. Checking the corridor. See if the CD is the same. Yep, that's the same. Ask about a few more things, please. Aha, okay. Gave... Yeah, I knew... Why can't I click on that? Do I have to click on something else first? Be back later on if I'm that's okay. Or something. I can't click on any of the answers. Alright. Go back in. Couple more questions if that's okay. Student. Why can't I click on things? Would you like to explain what this is, please, Ryan? 500 pounds intended for Kate. It fell out of your car. At least I assume that's your car on the driveway at Brandon House. I suppose so. So why were you going to give Kate 500 pounds, Ryan? Oh my god, the game's bugging up. It was just a little incentive, that's all. Just a little incentive? Not very little, Ryan. 500 pounds? She was a, a very good student. We, we heard that she was leaving. You wanted to give us something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this? Personal reason? No! Well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? Okay, it's working again. For some reason I couldn't click on the answers. Students aren't tested. Where was the thing? Okay. Aha. Well, which one is it, Ryan? Do you test students or not? Well, some of them, yes. Including Kate? Yes. Why was she being tested? She was being tested because... Because we wanted to see if she was good enough to become prime candidate, okay? So Kate was in the running to be prime candidate. Yes! And did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, I did. 
But I didn't ask him to do anything stupid. He knew it was against course rules. How far did you ask him to push her? I didn't ask him to push her. I asked him to test her. There's a huge difference. Holy shit, this guy's angry. If Simon decided to give her too much caffeine or morphine or whatever, that's his responsibility. So if he did anything wrong, it was his own responsibility. He did it with his own mind and his own hand. We have nothing to do with it. Midnight, and still no suspect, unless you count everyone I've interviewed. It's no surprise that Ryan wants to avoid any suggestion of being responsible for Kate's death, but I wonder if the man protests just a little too much. Kate's prime star. Sorry, let's start with the pub. It's midnight, the pub's still open, isn't there a thing? Please. Did you know Kate Vine was a prime candidate? No. I can't click exit, that's strange. Do you know what a prime candidate? Sometimes Do the game's buttons bug out, it's kind of strange. Unfortunately, it hasn't crashed the game yet, it's just sometimes you can't click on things, which is kind of annoying. Uh, oh, let's go talk to Simon. Simon would probably be angry if she wasn't a prime candidate. i ask you a couple more things, please. How do you think you'd have reacted if you'd found out that Kate had been chosen to be prime candidate? Is that... was she? I'm just asking how you think you'd react. I don't know. I wouldn't react in any way, really. I'm, I'm not bothered. I don't think she was, though. What makes you think that? Well, it's just an impression I got. You know, she's a bit flaky, to be honest. It's just not really prime candidate material. Why would she be being tested? Hmm. Uh, that's it for the time being, thank you. Who do I need to ask? Do you know whether Kate was in the running to be prime candidate or not? I don't, but I do think she would have been chosen. Just because she was, you know, Kate. You didn't discuss it with Kate? No. No, she never talked about this. Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. Ninety-three percent done. Right, let's go down and talk to the farm boy. Fairly unlikely that he is the killer. Is it a druggy? It looks like. A few more questions, if you don't mind. No, it doesn't know anything about it. I think he's uh, done. That's all for the moment. Thank you. So, I can talk to the Rands. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Was Kate a prime candidate? Well, as Ryan has probably already told you, yes, she was. Did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, it's company policy. Leaders don't get involved. Mm, and it covers your back, of course. Well, nobody knows the students better than they do, Inspector. It's much better to let them just work it out among themselves. 
It isn't very professional to force students to test each other to the point where one of them gets killed, Paul. We don't force students to do anything that they don't want to do, Inspector. So you don't force them into being tested? No, we don't encourage anybody to hurt or offend anybody else here. You don't use threshold testing, for instance? No. If Simon Thompson went too far with Kate, that's his responsibility, not ours. He's the one you should be speaking to, if truth be told. I don't trust him myself. That's a fib, if ever I saw one. Because he said that... That's exactly what they do, they force people... ...to do silly things, pretty much. Be back later on, if that's okay. Alright, let's talk to the chief. See what his words of wisdom are. Ryan admitted that he asked Simon to test Kate to see if she was good enough to be prime candidate. But he's throwing it all back on Simon. Says it was up to Simon about how he went about testing her. Very convenient. What does Paul say? He pretty much backs Ryan up. He claims they don't do any threshold testing. <laughs> well, that's a load of horse droppings. He knows you're on to him, Jenks, which means you're getting somewhere at last. It's only taken you until midnight, but well done nonetheless. Listen, call me back. I'm watching an old movie, but... Christopher Lee's only just turned up, so I'll be here for another hour or so, yeah? Okay, Chief. I'll call again. Yeah, yeah, bye. Yeah, so I guess I need to ask for more information. So... Must be one of these guys. James doesn't know shit. Couple more questions, if that's okay. What did he say? Please don't get involved. Don't use threshold testing. Thresh didn't he say that it was... Uh, something about threshold testing before. Nobody... Mary's room for meditation. CD... CD in the Mary room mentioned threshold testing, didn't it? Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. You say you don't endorse a threshold testing, that's the phrase, isn't it? Yes. Except you do, Paul. Because you told me that the students use that CD in the mirror room. I've listened to that CD, and it very clearly mentions threshold testing. You keep batting this away, Paul. We don't really use hypnosis. The students aren't really tested. But I am this close to launching a full-scale investigation. Look, we get a kickback from these students, and they have to be exceptional. Of course we have to test them. That doesn't mean we do anything illegal. What do you think we do? Bump off the ones we don't like? Well, that depends on how far you push them, doesn't it? Well, we certainly don't kill them. Nobody here wanted Kate dead. I'm sure they didn't. But what do you expect, Paul, when you put students under that much pressure? She was a very, very valuable student. She was worth a lot to the business. Really? And how much would that be? Well, if you really want to know, 50 grand. Holy shit. She was worth 50 grand? Yes. What, you were selling her? Of course we were selling her. You don't get this, do you? We make perfect employees. Month after month. That's all we do. What do you mean, perfect employees? What big business needs, Inspector, more than anything else, is none of this altruistic, goody-goody crap. What we look for is people with ambition. No ethics. Push. Greed is good. All right? We don't deal with all this comfort stuff. The survival of the fittest. That's all there is. There's no higher purpose, no big plan. There's nothing at the end of the rainbow. Except what you have and you can enjoy in the here and now. And what do you enjoy now, Paul? You're gonna have to excuse me. Inspector, I'm a very busy man. I've got work to do.
I'll see myself out. Hmm. Lovely man, your father. Shut the gate on your way out. Jinxie, they're coming for you, boy. You might just end up dead if you play your cards wrong. Kyle's gonna come for you. That doesn't sound good. Two totally morally bankrupt men are plotting to get rid of me. It's midnight. I don't have any backup and I don't even have a mobile phone. This is potentially quite bad. And what's Kyle got to do with it? I think I might make my way over to Atlas while Ryan isn't there. Maybe lock myself in. Ooh, Damn. someone's already locked himself in. I suppose it was too much to hope that Ryan had left the place open. Alright, let's go through the woods, see if we can find anything spooky. Devil worship! Prove to me that you're man enough to do this, Kyle. And then you can deal with that ridiculous police inspector. What is this? What the hell? Scotland Yard. Not hell. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Inspector. What are you doing here? Inspecting? So, uh, come on. Let's have it. I don't think you'd understand, Inspector. The best thing that you can do is turn around, go away, and leave us to it. Knife. What? That knife gives me a perfect right to stick my nose in, investigate, and interfere. <laughs> this is all part of the Atlas course. It's a physical endurance exercise. Drop the knife. The knife, Kyle! Kyle. Drop it! Not looking 100% brilliant for you, Ryan. Oh, please, Inspector, you've poked your nose into Atlas's affairs enough times to know that imaginative flair is part of the course of success. Our lessons are reinforced by a unique emotional experience. Terror? It's an extremely evocative tool. Well, it's a good job you're not in charge of the national curriculum. <laughs> now look, Inspector, I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're thinking, but believe me, Atlas had nothing to do with the deaths of those people. Eyewitness account of a satanic sacrifice in the woods. That's not what we call circumstantial evidence, Ryan. Simon. Now, I saw Simon walking home with Kate last Friday after the meeting. Now, Simon had some strange idea that he was in the running to become prime candidate. <laughs> well, a knob of butter has more chance of becoming prime minister. Oh, wait. So are you telling me that... Simon killed her? Well, that seems reasonable. It's likely, isn't it? Any more likely than you, Ryan. Pig! I know. Police brutality. Carl got what it deserved. It's all right. Are you okay? Let's go take to Simon. 
fuck is going on in this place? A few more questions, please. Thank you. What would you say if I said it's been suggested that you were seen walking home with Kate after Atlas last Friday? What? By who? The same person who suggested that you wanted Kate out of the picture because you found out she was in the running to be prime candidate. Who said that? Just a question. I didn't think I was in the running. It was Ryan, wasn't it? I am in no position to say. It was Ryan! Simon, calm down. No, I can prove it. Kate's driving license, give it to me. Why? Kate's driving license, please. Is she under 21? Was that right? I no, I think not. See that pattern on the tape there? Let me show you something. See this pattern? I like that. It's the same pattern. This has come from the same roll of tape as this. So? So there's only one person that's taped like that. Ryan. He gave me this piece of tape when I was in his office once. Why has Kate's driving license got a piece of Ryan's tape on it? I have no idea, Simon. Where did you find it? Oh, by the lake. It's obvious, isn't it? Ryan was testing her. He was doing a boundary test to see how much she would do, how far she would go to be a prime candidate. But it all went wrong. <laughs> okay. It's one of the things we do at the course, right? You give something that's important to you to someone else, then they go and hide it somewhere. It's to teach you to not be bothered when you lose something that's important to you, all right? Kate gives her driving license to Ryan. Ryan goes and hides it somewhere down the lake. Kate finds out, she goes down looking for it, probably drunk, and she falls in. find that a bit far-fetched, Simon. <laughs> it makes perfect sense if you know anything at all about how Atlas works. But Simon, if you got the tape from Ryan, Kate could have got it from him. He told me he doesn't lend it out. He lent it to you. But I didn't kill her! Do a lab test on the card! His DNA will be all over it. And what if yours is all over it? <laughs> it won't be! I didn't kill her! <sighs> I'm sorry, just, just just give me a minute. I need I need some painkillers. Painkillers, but he's allergic to opiates. Oh, he's run off. Where did he go in such a hurry? Is he trying to act as suspiciously as possible? It's very suspicious. Where, where, where do we go? Jetty? Everything's happening in the clearing. No! Atlas? Why did the game send me into the woods, if there's nothing in the woods? Is it just a... I guess he's just too sneaky. Ask you a couple more things, please. Have you seen this anywhere before? Uh, I've seen it somewhere, but can't remember. Sorry, no. Did Simon mention walking home with anyone after the meeting last Friday? No, he just came home. Why? He didn't mention walking home with Kate. No, definitely not.
OK, that's it for now. Thank you. How's the Chief's movie going, I wonder? that they do use threshold testing. Apparently they get a wedge of cash from various companies in exchange for each prime candidate they produce. Interesting. Also, I met Ryan and some of his friends in the woods in the middle of some sort of occult ceremony. I have no idea what they were doing, but it did not look good. But Ryan insisted that Simon walked Kate home after the meeting last Friday. He's claiming Simon killed her. And what does Simon say? He doesn't agree, not surprisingly. He says it was Ryan, because of something to do with a piece of tape stuck to Kate's driving license, which Simon claims belonged to Ryan. Claims it was Ryan who was testing Kate by sticking the driving license to a tree in the woods in the dark and telling Kate to get it, knowing she'd fall in. And no, before you ask, it doesn't make any sense to me either. Right, so basically Simon says Ryan was testing her and Ryan says Simon was testing her. Well, either one of them is lying or neither of them are. And nobody was testing anybody. I suppose that's always a possibility. Wouldn't surprise me, Jenks. Well, I don't know. I, I can't help you. But you're as close as you're going to get. <sighs> Just check everything that everyone said. Go through everyone's statements. The answer's in there somewhere. Call me back when there's some good news, eh? Preferably a confession. Well, if I can get one. Yeah. Thanks, Chief. Good night. <laughs> okay, so I must have missed a contradiction somewhere. I'm going to go back to the woods for a second. This is where I ended up. I wonder if I can use... Doesn't seem like I can use that there. Where the hell did Simon go? Why is there a use for this sticky tape as well? Who, 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 who. I'll walk up to Atlas. Maybe you just have to walk through the woods a bunch to find Simon. It's interesting I can use this, so I think there's somewhere I can use it. Maybe. I go to the pub. Let's go to the restaurant. See if we can use the tape compared to anything in here, no? Alright. Let's talk to his lady friend then. Couple more questions if that's okay. Let's see. Last sort of things about two months ago. Ryan's accusation. Let's go through these and have a look. Last saw the tape props two months ago. Last saw the tape. Where is something that they've been using tape? Doesn't know anything about it. Um, drop the ring, drop business card, aptitude test, lease of accusation, vandalized car, Paul's theft, auto hypnosis, dog wearing ceremony, back of dried leaves, freedom phrase, Liam's death, <sighs> Kate's argument, cardboard window, broken. Tape? Tape the window to make it safer? Oh, uh -huh. wow. <laughs> Same tape? You last saw that sticky tape two months ago, is that correct? Yes. So how come you used it last week to tape over the broken window outside? That's the same tape. Well, I must have been mistaken. You see, 
The reason I'm asking is that it's exactly the same tape that was found attached to Kate's driving license, found at the scene. The tape that only Ryan has. Ryan, and of course, you. So what are you saying? Who's got the tape now? Do you know where it is? No. No, I don't know where it is. Why are you asking me about this tape? You seem nervous, Rebecca. Is there a problem? Were you practically accusing me of having something to do with that woman's murder, aren't you? I wasn't accusing you of anything, Rebecca. Unless there's something you'd like to tell me. No, I wouldn't like to tell you anything. OK, well, that's fine. Obviously, uh, we'll be swabbing everyone in the area for DNA, so if anything comes up on Kate's licence, DNA traces. What'll come up? Nothing will come up. But I've had enough. I've got to get back. Rebecca! Would you like to explain to me exactly what is going on? Which bit? The fact that some leggy bitch was trying to steal my husband? I think you had better tell me what you know, Rebecca. Okay. You want to know what I know? Kate Vine seduced my husband and was going to blackmail him. Not only did she sleep with him, that whore did it just for his money. Our money. How did you work that out? I heard her. I knew it was her arguing with the Emma Bowman. Emma was trying to talk her out of it. And how did she come to be at the lake? She dropped that driving licence thing when she came in. She, she was drunk, she dropped her bag. I took it out to the woods and stuck it over the lake. And then I waited for her. When she came out, I... I told her where it was, that someone had just run off into the woods with it. You led her to the lake? She was... reaching out over the lake to get it. I didn't do anything, she just fell in. But you let her drown? It was dark. I, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't help her. Really? Did you try, Rebecca? Well, it was too late. She was just flapping about in the water. It was pathetic. She was making these gurgling sounds. And what did you do? I got a big stick. I just pushed her down with it until she stopped. Well, she was dead anyway. What did it matter? You killed her, Rebecca. But she slept with my husband. She didn't, Rebecca. What do you mean? You got the wrong girl. Uh, who? Emma. It was Emma. Rebecca Rand, I am arresting you for the murder of Kate Vine. You do not have to say anything, but anything you do say may be taken down and will be used in evidence against you. Yes. So, it appears that Kate Vine's death was a tragic case of mistaken identity. But there are some loose threads here. What was Ryan doing with Kyle and that girl in the woods? What if I hadn't interrupted? And what really happened to Liam last year? It seems I've only scratched the surface of Atlas and the Rand business empire. Trying to find out about Paul Rand's past is like peering into dense fog. He gives nothing away and covers his tracks with military efficiency. However, what is known is that Paul Rand has a lot of connections in high places. Politicians, celebrities, business leaders. Perhaps James Wilson's ideas weren't too wide of the mark after all. I get the feeling there's still a lot more to learn about the Rand business empire. You don't have to excuse us. Atlas is closed for the moment, but we'll be open again very soon. Thank you for your interest. That was a kind of a surprise ending. I didn't really think it would have anything to do with Rebecca. And the tape was kind of a strange thing as well, to have that be the key to it all. Oh my. Well, it was a fun game. Of course, you can get this game on Steam if you want to play with your friends, although if you've seen the story now, I guess that wouldn't be that much fun. I wonder if there'll be an Atlas or a uh, Contradiction 2. Well, anyway, if you enjoyed this, you can leave a like, and if you really unliked it, you can investigate that subscribe button. And uh, if you think I'm a terrible investigator who took way too long to play this game, then you can leave a dislike as well. Whatever.
Anyway, have a good one, lads. I'll see you later.